Eureka. Greetings, it's Eurosol again from the Earth Heart community, Eureka.org. And I'm just wanting to express something here which is uh, very, very important, it's very significant, and um, from my heart, really, I want to awaken people to the crime that's occurring in the health, so-called healthcare systems. Um, I'm in England at the moment, and we have here the, the NHS, it's called National Health System. And basically, uh, I've had more and more interactions with that system recently as a result of my parents both being ill. Uh, when I was younger, I, had, I was ill with various illnesses, eczema and other things, so I, I saw some of it from that perspective. I also worked briefly for a pharmaceutical company as a temporary worker in the IT department, so I got to see some angles from that as well. Um, but it wasn't until I really started studying healing um, out of necessity, because I needed to heal myself, that I found just how fraudulent and criminal the, the actual alleged healthcare system has become. Um, there are many whistleblowers now from pharmaceutical companies, salesmen from pharmaceutical companies, who are, and other doctors and scientists as well, who have literally come out and said publicly, um, you know, I, fraudul I, I put together fraudulent science as part of my work for a pharmaceutical company. Uh, that's what we do. We do it all the time there, um, basically to sell products. Uh, we're not in the business of healing people, we're in the business of selling products. So therefore, if we healed everybody, we wouldn't sell any more products. So we wouldn't have trillion dollar or billion dollar turnovers, and we wouldn't be these giant megalithic corporations, and our owners wouldn't be super rich. Um, so what they do is they deal only with symptoms, and they uh, deliberately ignore the causes of problems, and they make pills and potions which are designed to suppress symptoms. Uh, which ultimately sets you up for death, because if you ignore the real symptoms, then you don't get to the real cause of the problem, and the cause will eventually manifest in another form in the body, which may be, probably will be, far worse symptoms. Um, so people who say that we are dealing with a miracle of modern science with the medical system basically do not understand the body, they don't understand how powerful the body's healing processes naturally are when it's given enough nutrition, oxygenation, alkalization, hydration, movement, sunlight, and love. Um, and most human beings are lacking in one or more of those requirements for health. Um, many people who think they're getting enough nutrients aren't getting enough nutrients. Many people who think they drink enough water aren't drinking enough water. Many people who think they're getting enough sun aren't getting enough sun, and so on and so on and so on. Many people don't even know what love is. They think that to love yourself is somehow bad and spiritually immature or out of balance. Um, whereas in reality, you can't love someone else unless you fully love yourself. Love in that sense meaning fully self-accepting yourself. Uh, all that you are and bringing yourself into acceptance and balance, and that's love. Um, so anyway, these are these are just briefly. These are the healing requirements for balance um, that I've just mentioned. And you know, these things are not mentioned in the healthcare systems. If you go into a hospital, no one will mention love. No one will really mention much, much to do with getting fresh air, or they might do, but it's not like a, a priority, um, and so on. And the nutrition, which is the main topic of this video, is shocking. Um, and I know this because my dad recently here a few weeks ago, we found him in a coma and literally had to rush him to hospital with a paramedic. And as it turned out, we didn't know at the time, but as it turned out, he, or well, they diagnosed him with bacterial meningitis, meaning that his spinal column and brain were, basically, there was bacteria in there which, in many cases, causes death. In his case, it pushed him into a coma, and he could really just move a few muscles. That was it, move his hand, and that was about it. Um, he's totally unconscious, his eyes are open, but basically, So they revived him with antibiotics, or put him on a drip, got him rehydrated and so on, which, I mean, I don't in that situation, but at the moment I don't have a better solution for that, and I'm grateful for doing that. I'm not putting down people who work as doctors and nurses and so on. Many of them are just doing the best they know how to do with the information available. Unfortunately, the information that they're being given, a lot of it is maliciously corrupted. It's deliberately warped, and it's deliberately half-truths. And I've basically had this proven to me now, uh, because... When he was in that hospital, he was being fed um, ice cream, coffee, lots of sugar, tea, you know, caffeinated things which are diuretics. Caffeine is a diuretic, coffee is a diuretic, which means it dehydrates the body. So they've got him on a drip to rehydrate him, giving him coffee. It makes no sense at all for, if you understand how the body works. Um, and, 
you know, giving him sugary foods. The, the, the lists of people who are in hospital as a result of eating processed sugar and dairy diets is immense. It's massive. And there are, there are, I can, I'll put links under this video. There are doctors who have been saying this for years. Professional doctors, very talented people. They understand this. They help a lot of people by helping them shift to a plant-based diet away from processed synthetic garbage food. It's not real food anyway. but So they're feeding him this stuff. And I was aware of this and I was shocked by it. And I could see he wasn't really, his health wasn't really significantly improving much. He was very confused. Um, his neurology, neurological systems weren't functioning properly. And I can imagine in many people's cases in that situation, they may get a psychological diagnosis and people may say, oh, well, he needs to be on this pill because he's confused or he's psychotic or whatever it is. Totally denying the fact that the body doesn't have the nutrition it needs. It doesn't have anything that it needs. It's undernutrified and so on. So... When I was in there, I happened to look into the fridge, which I was using to store some of the foods I was bringing in for him, like fruit smoothies and so on. And it was full, literally full, of um, so-called nutritional drinks made by one particular company, one brand. And in fact, he had already been prescribed these by a doctor or by, by a dietitian a few months before because he had a digestive system problem. He'd been recommended the same drink. And, I, and I'd wondered, well, did these drinks contribute to him being found in hospital? Because... You know, I had to look at what was different about his life in the in the weeks and months prior to him being found in a coma, and that it wasn't much that was different that he'd done previous in the previously 40 years or so, other than these drinks. So I tried to look at the ingredients of them. There's no ingredients written on them. So I looked up online, found the company that makes them, got the ingredients, and I was shocked to find, well, not that shocked really, but I mean, still shocked that some of the ingredients were. I mean, I don't have an explanation for why they would be in there other than because they're there to maliciously harm people. Uh, and only a few days ago, India, uh, the Indian government forced Nestle to remove the product from their shelves, a noodle product, um, because they found that it contained lead and monosodium glutamate. Uh, so, you know, it's not unknown for corporations to do these things where they, they, they have, for whatever reason, they've got sick people running the company, they've got agendas, and they let's say they're, they're part of a eugenics movement, or whatever it is, they want to kill off particular subsections of the planet. So they just put these products in, they don't list them on the ingredients, uh, put these ingredients in the products, sorry, don't list them on the products, and they gradually deplete the health of the people. So one of the ingredients I found on this health drink is sodium fluoride, and sodium fluoride has been identified long ago, many decades ago. There's masses of research being done into this. And lots of it is still top secret, in fact, because fluoride is, is part of the process for making nuclear weapons. So not many people realise this. A lot of the research that was done uh, you know, around World War II and probably since is secret. It's not been released. So all these people that go around saying, oh, fluoride's completely safe, it's great for your teeth, blah, blah, blah. They're totally in the dark about the real truth about fluoride, just from that fact alone. The research isn't public. Um, but what is public is sufficient to know that fluoride is, a, in the way that it's used, basically is a neurotoxin. Um, this was reported in The Lancet, one of the medical journals in the UK. Um, and I've seen videos of um, what is alleged by doctors to be um, images of cells basically dying as soon as they come into contact with fluoride. So. This, uh, fluoride is a big topic, and it's a contentious topic, and I've had many debates with people, so-called professionals, on this topic, and they've never managed to succeed to come back to or rebut the, the points that are made. Um, they just try and bluff their way out of it, really, and try and keep up the facade that they've got superior knowledge. But the light of truth is the light of truth, and you can't, you can't beat the light of truth. Um, in this case, the light of truth is, why, or it says to me, why would you put sodium fluoride into an energy drink, and it was quite high up the list of ingredients as well, meaning that it wasn't a small amount, um, when the only alleged benefit of sodium fluoride is to fight or resolve dental cavities. Uh, I don't want to go too much into that. Suffice to say that sodium fluoride or fluoride is not the natural way that teeth heal. The natural way that teeth heal is by having a healthy body that's got enough nutrition in it so that the body can replenish what's been damaged in the teeth. Um, but anyway, bearing in mind that the only justification for, for, for using this in healing is for teeth, why would you put it in a drink that's there for an energy drink that's allegedly there to get people who are underweight um, bigger and stronger? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. It, it needs to come into contact directly with the teeth, which is why it's in toothpaste. So if you drink it, it's not even probably going to come into contact with the teeth. 
So that's a real red flag which says, hang on a minute, why is this in here? What are the, what's the agenda here? And why is the fridge, the, the food fridge, on a neurology ward full of this stuff and a cream cake? That was pretty much all that was in there other than what I put in there. Do they really think people are going to heal eating this stuff? Because they aren't going to heal eating that stuff. Um, so I did a bit of research after I found this and I found a company that actually provides, they actually make organic um, equivalents to this energy mixture, uh, energy drink. They, they provide powders basically, which actually are vegan as well. Organic, vegan, protein and, and um, other mixes which um, have probiotics in them, they have enzymes in them to help the body heal. Uh, they're just generally awesome, excellent products, uh, fully natural ingredients. So I got some of those and managed to get him on some of those basically up to a point but I couldn't give him a whole lot of it because I wasn't in the hospital all the time couldn't be there um, so anyway uh, eventually he came home and uh, still very very weak still a bit confused and we've been doing what we can or we've been doing what we can to get organic high quality food into him which isn't so easy because he was a long term smoker which he's been he stopped now and has had sugar addictions his whole life as well but the next point about this is the paperwork that I was given by the people in the NHS, the dietitian there. Um, the neurology doctor said that, I, that they would arrange for me to speak to a, a dietitian personally, which they didn't do. And in fact, I was told that wasn't possible afterwards by other people on the ward uh, because they don't have um, uh, schedules which they follow and appointments and so on. So anyway, I was given the wrong information there by the neurology doctor. And anyway, they left me these pieces of paper, which are meant to be... Um, guides for nutrition for me and my mum who are caring for him here a guide for what he should be eating basically to get to get healed and stronger and what these papers actually list pretty much is like it reads like a list of foods which you should eat if you want to get ill and end up in hospital um, I mean it doesn't go as far as saying go to McDonald's but it pretty much I mean <laughs> It's just shocking. It, it, it's listing. It's, it literally says, "Get uh, where is it?" Um, so, take um, skimmed milk powder uh, and mix it in with full-fat milk, and generally just increase the uh, the strength, so to speak, of milk. And, and a lot of this stuff is to do with milk. Bearing in mind that cow milk is for baby cows. It's designed for baby cows to get stronger. It's not designed for humans. Yeah. So, although in some circumstances you might get some minor benefit from it, overall, it's been proven that there are actually plant-based alternatives to dairy products which are superior in every sense. Um, and there are people who still claim that isn't true, but in conversations and debates many times it's been shown that they don't have the right information, they can't back up their claims and in fact their science is fraudulent. So, so yeah, lots of dairy stuff on here. And then it, it moves on to, here's a list of things that you should eat for high calorie snacks. And the nutritionist I spoke to stated that the reason why they put these things on here is because people often can't eat a lot of food when they're ill. So they want to get as many new, uh, calories into the person as they can. And she said that fruits and vegetables and other, um, what we might consider healthier options, don't have a high enough calorie content to make that possible. Ignoring the fact that there are vegan bodybuilders, there are, I'm a vegan, there's lots of vegans around who um, don't eat the garbage synthetic food, we just eat healthy natural food. Um, and there are many ways, we know very well that there are many ways that we can prepare food to get high calorie intake. Um, so here's a list of the uh, foods that are recommended. Eclairs or cream cakes, donuts, uh, chocolate brownies, Danish pastries, uh, buttered crumpets, um, pancakes, um, chocolate digestives, bourbons, custard creams, uh, jelly or boiled sweets, which is basically just sugar and chemicals, um, and just a long list of things like that, basically, which, I mean, for the most part, they are not going to get you healthy. They might get some energy into you, but it's not going to be a balanced form of energy which gives you sustained, healthy um, nutrition which your body can then use to repair itself. It's just going to be enough to keep you awake enough to, let's say, make it appear to your ignorant family and friends that the hospital is helping you. Oh, well, look, they're keeping him alive. In reality, that you're keep they're keeping you in a mild coma state where you're not actually healing, you're just, just 
alive, basically, which is how he was when he was in the hospital. He was just on a plane of existence. He really wasn't able to learn anything or evolve or, or wake up enough to make intelligent decisions. Um, and I honestly feel that that's how they want people in there. I honestly feel there are hideous, insidious, evil agendas at the tops of the hierarchies of these institutions who basically have the intention whereby they think, oh, well, you're in this category, you've got this illness, you're this age, you're on a pension, you're not earning money for the country anymore. Therefore, because we do, everything is dealt by finance. Therefore, we need to erase you from the country and from the planet as quickly as possible to keep the bank balance as it should be and keep the country productive and not be a burden on everyone else. All these things. It's like psychopathic, basically, Luciferian um, belief systems these people have. They've got no heart, no empathy, no love. They're not even real people as far as I'm concerned. But these are the people who have infiltrated the hierarchies and who are making these decisions. And I understand that when I speak to a nutritionist or a doctor or someone like that who hasn't asked these questions, isn't aware of this stuff, they're just following the program that they've been programmed to follow. Although I do hold them responsible for their actions, ultimately they're not the ones deciding which corporations and which products are used. They're just going along with it like Nazis in World War II. And they're like, if you're only following orders, you know, like that, that wasn't an excuse that was acceptable in the Nuremberg trials. So if you remember that, and if you don't remember that, you're not aware of the Nuremberg trials and how many Nazis were hung as a result of their following orders, then I recommend you look that up. Um, so it's it's difficult to uh, engage with these people because they're not the ones making the full-on decisions at the, at the higher levels. Um, so here I am making this video and this rant wanting to share this with as many people as possible, not only to engage people on this topic and to let people know what's happening in the hospitals, um, which they may not find out about until they or their loved one is ill, at which point it's probably too late, uh, unless they themselves have already studied natural healing and know how to heal properly, um, in which case ideally they wouldn't end up in the hospital in the first place. But um, I just want you to know that there are real alternatives. There's thousands, thousands, thousands of people who have healed themselves from cancer, from all, all kinds of illnesses, just from changing their diet and, and getting more exercise and breathing more and connecting with the earth and feeling and, and all these compassionate options which we have available freely. Freely. Um, keyword, free. Doesn't make anyone any money. And these are the things which we are being denied by the mainstream because they want to become very wealthy, basically, and control everyone else is what it comes down to. Ancient agendas played out through countless civilizations, countless countries, governments. Um, lies are told, truth is denied, and the people are controlled for the benefit of the minority. Um, so... <sighs> um, what I would really like to say to you is... If you already know all about all about this stuff, then please don't give up on sharing this information with other people. Let's get as many people as possible awakened to the reality of this so that we can become strong, we can be healed, we don't have to rely on these parasites and these psychopaths who then run the governments and then tell us that we're, we're the psychopaths and the parasites because we want job seekers allowance when we don't have a job, or we want a pension when we get old and these things, which really are just the crumbs from the floor of a trillionaire somewhere else um, who's already stolen it all. Um, Let's get this awareness up. Let's, let's, let's really create some excellent, great change on this planet. Um, and I invite you and anyone to share this video and also to visit the website eureka.org, U-R-E-K-A.org, which is a social network which I created. Um, I have a degree in computer science. I've been professional in computing for a long while. Um, it's comparable to Facebook. It's not quite as evolved as Facebook at this point, but it's only me working on it, so it's not surprising. Um, but the point of it is it's uncensored, um, and the intent of the website is to help us heal, balance, and evolve. So that is a, a collation, a collection of information, just on my profile, of excellent teachers from around the world on, on these very important topics, um, which, you, which I've collected in one place. That's what I've done with it so far. So people can just come and look at what I've put on there and get free information on all these topics and really help themselves. Um, you can join up too, you can create a profile, you can meet other people, get together, get involved. It's all free. Um, yeah, and uh, specifically I recommend when you visit the site, look and clicking on the link Catalysts, K-A-T-A-L-I-S-T. The Catalyst is a page which contains many other elements like videos and elements of text, all on a big long page. Um, so that you've, rather than just going to YouTube and watching one video, instead you've got a page which has maybe 10, 20, 30 videos on it that have been collected on this topic. And so you get a very broad range of information, which is excellent, excellent, excellent for helping understand complicated topics. Um, 
if you look down that list of catalysts, there's some on there that I've put up there already, 10 or so, on a variety of topics, including health and healing. Um, if you have a look through there, you'll find a lot of the information that backs up what I'm saying here, right through from Rothschild banking families and other banking families infiltrating the medical institutions and the universities, the teaching universities, warping everything so the pharmaceutical industry gets their products promoted in the healthcare systems rather than natural healing, um, well documented, well, well researched by expert researchers, through to the fluoride, through to just everything, it's all covered on there. Um, and I really hope that, that you can learn from that and share, with it as, share it with as many people as, as you can. Um, also, I'm also open to hearing of any ideas that anybody has about how to create rapid change in this system, how to throw off these people that are diverting the resources away from real healing and towards people's bank balances. Um, how can we shift the NHS, for example, um, to be a more enlightened service that actually helps people? How can we do that quickly? Um, who is it that needs to be removed? Who is it that needs to be enlightened? Who is it that needs to be woken up specifically? Um, any thoughts like that, let me know in the comments below or private message me or even better yet, join me at Eureka and we'll have uh, open some threads on it there. So thanks for listening. This is the second time I've made this video today. So uh, the, the video let me uh, recorder let me down and I'm a bit tired now and I wanted to say some other things but I'll save that for another time. Um, my love and heart goes out to everyone out there watching this or in here watching this. Um, and uh, may, we, uh, may we all heal, balance and evolve. Thank you.